guys, I'm Anarchy, bringing you the chaos. Alcatraz Gaming. Goblin. In green. I am on. Mark Hamill is back in Flash. Back in Flash! Okay, so this is awesome. Okay, first of all, we got, there's some shit to cover, okay? Okay, oh he's my. going to be fighting Jay Garrick. Okay. Right? Okay. And he was Flash when they were oh in the my god. together. Oh my god, no. Oh my god, yes. So they're it. fighting each it. other again. I love it. Nice. So he's there to fight like Jay Garrett. Uh, oh, and uh, by the way, for all of you fuckers who think he's the Joker, I want to kill you. <laughs> so Wait, do they think the Joker? Uh, no, nah, no, nah, they think. Oh my God, they think Joker's gonna fight they Flash. They think. No, no, they think that Mark Hamill is the Joker oh. in the Flash universe. Oh my God. He co he comes in as the trickster. He's got purple hair and sort of white skin, and they're like Joker. Joker didn't even have purple hair. Well, maybe people just don't pay enough. Purple green, it's all the same. So I mean, like it shows. I mean, like Nolan's Joker looked nothing like the normal sure. Joker. So <laughs> at like, least he didn't have fucking purple dumb. hair. He had like poop colored hair, pretty much. Still dumb. It was tips. Anyway, Mirror Master also in Flash now with the robes. Oh, thank God. Finally. Okay, so since I feel like Goblin just screaming. Oh, it's awesome. Okay, so so since since uh, Flash rewrote the timeline as yeah. he does, yes. right? Uh, the rogues are back together. So in uh, Legend of Tomorrow, the the uh, the fucking um, Captain Cold and the yeah. Heat Wave are in a separate universe timeline. So they're back and they change okay. characters in this. So now they have the rogues back That's good. with everyone leaving and whatever. Okay. And they have Mirror Master and he traps Flash in the mirror. Finally, awesome! Oh my god! Actually, funny because our meme of this week yeah. actually has to do Flash show. So oh, there you go. Oh, my god. I like the when he punches. Uh, Eobard into the future. Yes. <laughs> I can punch him right. into the future. Oh Alright, Citizen Steel picture is revealed. Yep. Citizen Steel is 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 going to be in it looks like the crossover event. So Okay. Have I I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Does he look like Citizen Steel? Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. Just, he has the fucking Mohawk shit. He looks so the classic. Nice. Alright. Like yeah. the weird helmet that was like <laughs> fucking warlock ass helmet. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah. Alright, there you go. See so Citizen Steel's in it, and you know he was in a picture with like Supergirl and the Legends of Tomorrow and stuff. So oh, I'm assuming cool. it's for the crossover. Okay, okay. Uh, CW crossover event will be five episodes long. Five That's actually episodes. pretty good. That's actually yeah. yeah. It'll be five episodes story arc. So every like the normal shows when you'd have Legends of Tomorrow, yep. Arrow, and, and Flash, you'll have uh, you'll have the, their crossovers and then plus two more. Cool. You know I hate to have to bring this up again, but I was actually thinking about this week. Arrow. So let's just oh, quickly get. I what I think they should do. I've been thinking about this. Is they should Kill take him? no, because <laughs> he is a good actor and a good character alone. Yes. What I would do is I would take him out of his own show and just keep him in Legends of Tomorrow oh, yeah. and then give the show to someone else. Honestly, yeah. Show. That's what I would do. Keep the character because he's a Logical good character, good choice. actor. Yeah. But just get rid of the show. Seriously. Just throw him into uh, Legends of Tomorrow. Yeah, well, that's what they do with the. It's like an island of misfit heroes. They just throw them into legends. <laughs> Done. And make them, like, good and well developed because they have different writers than, like, Arrow. Yeah, and then you can save that arrow, then, too. Or else they're just going to kill him. Just run him into the ground. Okay. Uh, I already have. <laughs> John Bernthal thinks right. Punisher could beat Batman. Yeah. John Bernthal thinks Punisher could beat the shit out of Batman. Yo, okay, buddy. Okay. I, like that. <laughs> I don't know. It like, but like, hey. Punisher like kill. Like, if it's the, if it's the, I don't kill Batman. Yeah. yeah. True. Yeah. <laughs> but if it's like, yeah, kill Batman. Then, nah, I don't think so. Also it depends on prep time. Yeah. yeah. It also depends on prep time and, and what Batman gadgets. has to use to yeah, end Batman gadgets and money. Gadgets. I mean, like, if we're gonna get Batman full prep time, he's gonna be coming with a hell back suit. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Well, the thing is, my next okay. thing is, it's not like it's the first time Batman yeah. has fought a guy with a fucking yeah, gun. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Jim Red Hood. Exactly. So yeah, exactly. KGB. I mean, like, I'm not saying Punisher sucks. He's an no. amazing character. He's not OP though. Yeah, at he's all. not overpowered. He's like at all. regular human. Yeah, exactly. It's funny. He's like the one Marvel character they've resisted making like OP as fuck. Yeah. I mean, like, I'd be more hesitant if they were like Wolverine could be Batman. Then I'd be like, all right, yeah, that's yeah. more yeah. a possibility for me than sure. Punisher. Punisher's cool. But I don't think he could be Batman. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's it, my. Maybe one of those fights where like, oh, Batman doesn't have a suit and he doesn't have certain gadgets. And, well, and then Punisher can't have gadgets. Exactly. exactly. Either. But yeah. then Batman has like so, more martial arts it, it than would Punisher. Have been so, anyways, this is basically shit to get on the news to make Marvel and DC people fight. So it's yeah. pretty much it. <clears throat> what? Like, you know what? <laughs> I feel like John. I feel like he was just poking the bees nest. Yeah, pretty much. But people are always poking the bees nest, especially in Marvel. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so Kaylee Kuko. 
Kuoko. Penny from the Big Bang Theory wants to play Harley Quinn in the CW. I love this idea. I think it could be great. Yeah, I could only see her as Harley Quinn. See, she's funny. She's likable. See, here's the deal. You need like the Joker. And like, well, yeah. Did you explain <laughs> Harley Quinn? <laughs> but I, yeah, I know, yeah. yeah. I'm not saying, I'm saying she, I'm not saying yeah. she, fuck yeah, you! I was just going, what the fuck? I was just defending <laughs> myself, you piece of <laughs> shit! Okay. Go die! Okay, okay, uh, here, here's, I'm just gonna make it simple. I agree that Harley Quinn would be a perfect choice for Harley Quinn, but, I'm gonna go on Goblin quickly, uh, I think that they should set up the characters before right. they start casting them. Joker and Arrow? Yes, that's very cool. <laughs> oh, oh, God. No. I'm your main adversary! No, they just make Harley Quinn partnered up with the Trickster. Yeah. That'd be awesome. AKA Joker. <laughs> <laughs> because it's the Joker, it's right? Just this old fucking Mark Hamill with. <laughs> yes. The clue. Okay. Continue. So that's the end of Sega 2.